Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to use Prometheus and Grafana to capture application server statistics and uh, I will use uh, Payara as an, as an example. And uh, for instance, um, are just um, using the uh, REST or HTTP monitoring endpoint and let's say we would like to know the total number of rollbacks and um, this is the path and it, um, if we just use the JSON, we will get the information as JSON. And if you look at this, you see that what's actually interesting here is the extra properties dot entity dot rolled back count, and then the key count. So this is the value we are interested in. If we would take a look at the committed count, it would be very similar situation. So the, the um, path is a little bit different, but we see here extra properties, entity, committed count. So the only thing that changes is, is the committed. So um, let's try to monitor that. And the idea is to use a tool called Firehose. It is already on GitHub and it is able to extract information from, from there. And uh, this is a sidecar microservice and convert it into Prometheus format. So um, let's uh, stop the, the uh, Payara here. And uh, what I would like to do is to, to launch the chain. And I would like to use the Docker Compose for that. And this is a, a very simple Docker Compose file. It launches Payara Firehose. And Payara Firehose is a Payara with enabled monitoring. Then uh, it exposes these ports. Then it uses Prometheus Firehose and the Prometheus Firehose exposes port 9090 and it needs Payara Firehose, so there's the link, the dependency. And Grafana needs Prometheus Firehose. And we have something interesting is the configuration loader. And what the configuration loader does is on startup, it just configures Firehose with, with the Payara extraction scripts. And what are this, uh, these uh, scripts? So um, let's uh, take a look at the um, Payara monitoring logger. It's just a startup singleton. And what it does is it relies on Payara Firehose 8080 with the port 8080. And uh, there are several scripts, problematic 503, problem rollbacks, average processing time, and so forth. And, um, and what it does is it reads from the local, from the local folder it uh, reads the scripts. So let's go and see the number of rollbacks. And as you can see, it extracts from the JSON, the metric, extra properties, entity, rollback count and count, and then creates the metadata necessary for Prometheus and exposes then that to the outside world. Also a used heap, similar script. And uh, what it just does, it configures in startup. So it says, hey, uh, invoke this URI of the application server and use the script to uh, to fetch the metric. So that's all. This is just one class. Okay. So and uh, all the images are already available in Docklands. So we have Payara Firehose. It just uh, uses um, just with enabled monitoring everywhere. And what also happened, the Firehose extractor is deployed as a sidecar. And uh, what also happened, so this is just fetched from, from GitHub. And we have additional listener, which can be used for monitoring purposes. In our example, we just rely on port 8080. So the uh, Prometheus image is just Prometheus with um, uh, scraping from, should 8080, does not matter in our case, should scrape uh, the URI 8080. And fire, Firehose resources matrix is the URI, where all matrix we configured become available. And what we also have, we have stock Grafana. And this is just Grafana completely unconfigured. Okay, so uh, let's try to launch it. So Docker Compose up, and we can launch it in foreground. So what we'll do, it will uh, start everything um, so it will launch the um, Payara Firehose uh, and Payara just with the sidecar. Then it would launch Prometheus, configured Grafana and uh, another service which uh, uh, reads the configuration and pushes the configuration to the, um, to the service. So uh, it looks okay. So let's see whether it actually works. So what we could do. We could uh, switch right and see localhost, um, let's see, 8080. It should be a fire hose and just pull the metrics. And it looks like we got the metrics. 
So what we can also do is the port 9090. And this is uh, Prometheus and all the metrics are available. So what I could do, I could just, uh, for instance, get rollbacks count and uh, we will get a graph with the rollbacks. So there are no rollbacks because everything went well, so works well. And uh, what we also have is Grafana, but the Grafana is not configured. So we will have to configure that. And uh, I would have to set up the uh, data source and the data source is Prometheus. And uh, the name is Prometheus. And the port, this is the localhost 9090, known localhost rather than um, Prometheus Firehose, hopefully. And just use the uh, direct and add data source added. So uh, does it look good or not? It's hard to tell. So this looks good. Let's. Okay. So we have a proxy uh, um, connection to Prometheus Firehose. So this looks good right now. And I would like to have a dashboard. So let's create a dashboard and add a graph. And uh, we will have to configure the graph. So go here. And what I would like to do is to use a metric. And let's say, no, this is a little bit boring metric. Let's do with uh, something like this. And uh, I will switch to here. And um, and as you can see, now we're able to monitor in real time the uh, bytes of Prometheus uh, of of uh, of uh, Payara. Um, I can of course add additional graphs, additional let's say additional uh, metric. So what else? Um, uh, how, how many threads are currently busy. Also interesting information. So just go with that. And uh, now we should have both. So there is there is just one thread busy and uh, it doesn't make two cents to display both because you know we have here 100 million bytes and uh, just one thread. So this is, we don't see it, but this is fairly easy to convert whatever information you like from Payara, Glassfish, to um, to uh, Prometheus or or uh, Grafana. So um, this were just a technical uh, matrix. What you can easily also do is to expose business matrix. So what you will have to do for this for the purpose just um, expose your own matrix or uh, or sensors via JSON or HTTP and gather them with Firehose. So thank you for watching and see you at upcoming conferences, projects, um, Java user groups meetings. Um, or even uh, workshops at Munich Airport or EX.io. So thank you for watching and bye.